my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. Uh, it's been a hot minute since I've sat in this chair, so bear with me. The last time I sat here in front of you guys was in June. No, end of May. <laughs> and we are slowly getting back into the swing of things. And I thought that one of our very first videos back should be something very important. You know, something that is important to most of us, something that none of us enjoy having on our face or our body for that matter. And that is blemishes, or I like to call them pimples. I feel like when you call them pimples, it has that negative energy attached to it. So you're letting that pimple know, like, I don't want you to live here. This is how I feel about you. And it's not a good feeling. If you call it blemish, it's like, it's classy. You know, it's like, okay, I know you have to stay here for a moment, say your piece, and then you can move on. No, I wanted to know, pimple, I don't like you. Like, you're not welcome here, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to eradicate you from my body, from my soul, from my mind, from, from weighing heavily on my day. I went to a few stores. I ordered a few online. Okay, let me just, it sounds like I ordered 19 types of pimple patches. I have four. I have four to share with you guys, three of which are amazing, one of which was a total fail, but I'm actually gonna break them down for you guys. So if you guys are on the same boat as me, where maybe you don't struggle with your skin, but you do get the occasional hormonal breakout, stressful breakout, I ate too much ice cream last night breakout, or you just simply have the occasional big bump here or there, I'm gonna give you guys three, maybe four pimple patches that you might wanna try because they are actually pretty fantastic. So if you wanna learn how to get rid of pimples from your body, all you gotta do is keep on watching. Hello. You know, it's it's been a while. You should have forgotten by now. You should have forgotten what it means to show your cute little face on the internet. But no, you're here. It's a new setting, it's a new area in the room, and yet you find me, and you find the camera, and you still don't make eye contact. Yep, some things don't change, huh? Do you wanna, do you wanna talk about pimple patches together? You don't, because you have perfect skin. It's, this is not something that you're familiar with. This isn't something that's important to you, What's important to you? I'm gonna talk about my very first one, like my favorite, the one that works every single time, the one that has the best reviews, maybe not the cheapest, but because if you don't have that much time to hang out with me, at least you know which one the best one is and you don't have to waste your time. However, I would love for you to stay until the end. Subscribe if you haven't already, like the video. Hey, listen, if you have a friend that you kind of want to drop a hint to, like, hey, listen, I know you're on the struggle bus with the pimple train, so here's a video you might want to watch. I'd really appreciate it, so share with a friend. <laughs> Sharing is caring, guys. Okay, so the very first one, my absolute favorite, the number one excellent, freaking magical what is this sorcery type product are the piss <laughs> peace out <laughs> peace out acne patches i got mine at sephora i think they're sephora exclusive i may be wrong listen i don't have that much time to do some research they come in two different sizes i got the small pack this has 20 and then they're also a 40 pack and i actually took notes because this is the kind of person that i am all right so the peace out salicylic acid acne healing dots come in a 20 pack and a 40 pack if you get this one they're about a dollar a piece so it's a 19 dollars if you get the 40 pack they're 32 dollars now you're like okay well that would be potentially manifesting 40 pimples on my face and that's not the kind of life you're about that's okay i get it so i got this one just to try it out and when you get the package itself it comes sealed it they come sealed in 10 dots a piece in like a little ziploc bag because all of the ones that i'm going to show you come in bulky boxes and i just like to have it next to my sink i just took it out like this i wouldn't recommend them being out exposed to the air longer than they need to be but nothing really happens but you don't want to expose them to moisture so anyway the cool thing about these patches is that they are salicylic based most of the pimple patches that you find are hydrocolloid patches which are like uh, bandages to suck out moisture so to keep moisture out so that's how they drain the pimple. That was just really gross. I'm sorry about that, guys. So these are the ones that have worked the most on me. And I get really, really random, very rare occasion, stubborn, painful pimples on my back. 
So I struggled with Bacne for years. I finally got a hold of it and it's never come back since. But on a random occasion, I will get the really big painful one on my back and I'm like, I don't know what to do with you because I know that if I go to town and try to King Arthur it, it's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna look like I got attacked by a banshee. You know what I mean? So I just take one of these and I put it on my back and I forget about it. One word of advice, disclaimer, if you have sensitive skin or if you have skin that is prone to hyperpigmentation, I would say do not leave it on longer than overnight because it does leave a mark. The mark goes away, but if you go any longer than that, I'm afraid that it may actually leave a mark or sort of like a pigmentation circle on your wherever you apply it. So it works so good that it almost leaves a mark, you know You know what I mean? You know when you meet that bad boy and you're gonna leave a mark on your heart and you know it's not good for you, but you keep going back. Okay, we're talking about two separate things right now. So my number one absolutely favorite works every freaking time. Next Sephora sale that, that there is, next coupon that you get, next birthday reward, try and get these, you guys. They are absolutely amazing. Now, this is what the patch itself looks like, if it could, you know, I know it's trying to focus on my amazing cleavage. This is what the uh, patch looks like. You can see it's pretty thick. I'm actually gonna trial one out for you guys because I don't know if you can see there's a situation happening on my chin. I ate a quart of ice cream last night. I ate a quart of Rocky Red ice cream. It had a marshmallow swirl in it. It felt good in the moment. In fact, this morning, I still have no regrets. My chin, however, feels a little different. So I'm gonna try these out for you guys so you can kind of see at the very end what all four look like. This is amazing. It is absolutely my favorite. Like I said, it's the most expensive of all the ones I'm gonna show you, but it's the most effective for my skin type. I have normal skin. It's pretty oily in the center, but not so much where it ruins my foundations. And then kind of dry on the outside, but not so much where I need to use dry skin products. Does that make sense? So it's like normal to combo skin, but nothing where it makes me shop for specific products that aren't just based on preferences. Okay, number two, my number two most favorite is from a brand called Masquerade. This is a Canadian skincare brand. They are Korean influenced. I struggled to find these because they used to be sold in Target. We used to be able to find them in the US. Now they're not available in the US unless you order them directly from their website or from Amazon, which is where I got mine. So these are the anti-blemish patches. If you guys like sheet masks, they have really awesome sheet masks, masks as well. These are salicylic acid based pimple patches. These are my favorite because they work if you have the time to leave them on. So the material for these is a very, very, very thin material. These are the ones that I like to use because I can actually wear them under my makeup. So I'm gonna, let's see, I'll put that one right there. These are almost completely invisible. Unless someone looks at you like with a light or on an angle, they're not gonna be able to see them. They are more than paper thin, like thinner than paper. They are almost invisible and you can apply makeup over them and camouflage them and wear them all day. They are very effective if you have the time to leave them on. So at a minimum, I would say overnight. They also come individually wrapped in little sleeves. So you could have one in your purse, in your makeup bag, you could have one in your gym bag, you can have one in your desk drawer at work. One cool thing to mention about these is that they are vegan. Now here is a price difference and one important fact difference between this one and the Peace Out. So the Peace Out have aloe vera, which is gonna be very soothing for the skin. It also has vitamin A, and it has 0.5 salicylic acid, which is probably why it works so good. These come with 60 stickers or patches, or $14, and they only have 0.2 salicylic acid. So I would say, if you have very aggressive pimples, like if you have pimples that don't wanna to be told how to live their life, this is probably the way to go. You got 0.5 salicylic acid. There's only 20 patches for $19. Or you can get the ones that go really well under makeup 
You have to wear them a little bit longer, but you get 60. And with the 60, you get two sizes. So let's say that you have a really big monster mountain, you got the big ones. Or if you're going on a date and you wanna be discreet, but you still wanna take care of your skin, you got these little ones right here. So 60 patches for 14 bucks trickier to find but i mean who's not shopping on amazon these days and even if you do not shop amazon you could get them from their website but i think there is a cusp for how much you need to order in order to get free shipping number three and these are probably a tie between the masquerade ones and the starface i think they're called hydro stars so the hydro stars are kind of cute they're a little gimmicky because they come in a starter pack so the starter pack is 15 dollars, and you get 32 stars it is a very hard case with a mirror in case you really want to make sure you get that pimple right where you're supposed to and then it comes with little sheets and each sheet has four stars on it now pimple patches kind of went from being discreet, where you didn't want them to notice, you know, where you wanted them to be invisible, like the masquerade one. And now you can get them in yin yangs, peace signs, flowers, butterflies, karopi. I've seen Sanrio, like Hello Kitty ones. These are the ones from Starface. They're little stars. The biggest difference between this one and, let's see, we'll go right here. This is a hydrocolloid patch. That means that I'm probably pronouncing it wrong and also that it is made with a material that is actually a water drawing out bandage. So it's a bandage that is meant to suck out whatever is underneath it. So the longer that you wear this, the more effective that it is. It's a yellow star on your face. So <laughs> This does not have any acne treatment on it like this one that has salicylic acid or this one that has salicylic acid. Now, it is not an acne treatment like uh, benzoyl peroxide, which for me is like completely illegal. I hate it. I don't believe in it. I think it's terrible for your face. It's not allowed in my home. It bleaches everything. It's a nightmare. But when it comes to acne products, salicylic acid is so gentle and effective that I love when I find it in products that I need for my beauty routine. So this one here, is just a hydrocolloid patch which means the longer you wear it the more effective it's gonna be it is $15 for this little box for between 14 to 15 dollars I got mine at Target which means you get the additional 5% and it comes in a refill pack so let's say that you ran out or let's say that you don't want the silly little box you can actually get it as a refill for $11 and it looks like this so it's just a little yellow envelope you get the same 32 stars and you don't get the little hard case I mean, it's, it's kind of cute, it's kind of cute, right? And I was thinking, I'm like, hey, maybe after when you run out of patches, you could use it like a little pill case or something. I, I if you wanted to carry around pills, I, I don't know. It's really cute. I think it's adorable. I would go out to school drop off with these on. I'm not sure if I would go out with this one. I mean, albeit I'm almost 40 and I've gotten to that point in my life where I don't really care what people think about me, <laughs> but my kids might. So this is cute. It's effective, but you could see the surface area. Let me show you guys a comparison. So if you're gonna compare the surface area between this is the piece out and then this is a star, you're missing five cutouts of, of surface contact. So this, you're gonna get full surface contact with the whole circle. Here, because it's a cute little star, you're just gonna get the center point of the star. So I don't know if, I don't know if you overthink that far like I do, but that's the kind of stuff I think about. So I wanted to give it a shot because I see them all the time on Instagram and I think they're fun and I think they're cute, but for me, they are effective, but if I can go with more of an invisible look, I'm probably gonna opt for that one. Now here's another thing to consider is these are $14 for 32. These are $20 for 20. $19, whatever. So these are a dollar a piece. These are 50 cents a piece. So that's kind of a big price difference. Now let's talk about the controversial one. This one's promoted all over YouTube and Instagram. Usually they are sponsored posts. And I actually wanted to try these out because whenever I see a brand that is marketed constantly on social media like Tula, I get curious to try to see if it actually is effective or if it's just a mass campaign for brand exposure. So these are influenced 
by a lot of influencers. So I wanted to give them a try because they are very affordable. They're available at your local Target, but they absolutely 100% did not work for me. Crazy, right? So these are also hydrocolloid patches. They are very, very, very thick. They literally just sat on my skin and did nothing. I put this one right here. I follow a bunch of influencers that I legitimately trust, that I know their work ethic and I know how they work. I know the partnerships they accept and I trust them. And if they tell me this worked for them, I believe it worked for them. And also when I talked about these on my Instagram, so many of you said that these actually worked for you as well. This might just be something that doesn't work for my skin type. So I wanted to say that because I'm not bashing a product. I'm saying this product didn't work for me, but a bunch of you guys say that it works for you. So I'm not going to miss out on mentioning a product that's $7. If you guys could take advantage of it. This one also comes in like these little individually wrapped, you see the little patches in there? Individually wrapped envelopes. The pack that I got, and I can't find this pack again, is 36 patches. When I was looking at the Target app to mention these to you and gather more information, like specific details, I only find the 24 pack. So I wonder if this was like a special promotional package deal kind of thing. Now, because these are hydroquality patches, they have to be on your skin for at least six hours. That's a very long time for a very thick bandage. So I'll show you guys a close up again. Do you guys see how thick that is in comparison to the other ones I showed you? So it's a pretty thick bandage. You have to wear it at least six hours and on the product itself, it specifies that you have to use them on whiteheads. A little gross fact, but if I have a whitehead on my skin, it's ready to be removed. You know what I mean? So I'm not gonna waste my time putting a sticker on my face when I can just go like a little with clean hands and tissue and sanitize it, you know the drill. But if I have a white head, I'm just gonna be like, mm, 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 mm. So when I refer to these pimple patches being effective and working, it's when something is not a white head yet. So it can be, and maybe it's not ready to be removed or evacuated or evicted from my face, but it works regardless of where the level is. These just specifically say on the directions that they do need to be a whitehead. Like whatever you're trying to remove has to be a whitehead for it to work. It even gives you a very handy dandy little <laughs> diagram right there for you guys. So if you guys were to say, Hey Danny, pick one. Which one's your favorite? If you could only buy one, if you could only use one, which is the way to go? I'm conflicted. I couldn't tell you between the Peace Out and the Masquerade because for me, if I'm looking for a pimple patch, I want it to do its job, which is remove the pimple, but I also don't want it to impair on my life. I don't want it to show up on my skin, which the uh, Peace Out ones aren't super thick, like I told you guys. They're also like a skin tone color, so they're a little more blendy, but man, it is going to suck the gunk out of your face like crazy. I mean, it is magic. Now, one thing that I completely forgot to mention was that these are also hydrocolloid patches. So it is that like polymer band-aid that's gonna suck out all the moisture with the addition of salicylic acid, which is what makes it so effective. But sometimes I want it to be invisible. You know what I mean? Sometimes I want it to stay on my face all day, like low and slow almost, like if you're barbecuing. So you have to leave it on longer. It works just as well. And you could also wear it under makeup. So let's say that you work that nine to five and you wear makeup every day to the office. That might be a better option than having that, that one that just fell on your face. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a close up. The first one we have here, the most obvious, is the Star Face. It's a hydrocolloid patch. There's nothing else on it. It is cruelty free and vegan and kind of fun to look at. Then we have the Peace Out. That one is right here. And you could tell there wasn't a visible blemish on my face, but he is going to work and he is sucking some stuff out in just the last like 15 minutes that we've been sitting here. So this is my absolute favorite. Then down here we have the Mighty Patch, which is the one that didn't work necessarily for me. It just kind of hung out on my skin and did nothing. And then up here, this one that you can almost not notice, sorry about the view, that is the masquerade one and you can always tell the difference because it's almost seamless there's no border around it like these all have a border because they have the hydrocolloid like polymer adhesive or band-aid and so it's always going to be a lot thicker i am curious to try the mighty patch salicylic acid ones that are 
ultra thin because that might be very comparable to say the Peace Out or the Masquerade one. So those are the four up close. But I think with products like these, this is gonna be something that is completely up to you, your preference, your skin type, what you like, what you're looking for, how long you wear makeup, if you wear makeup, how bad your pimples are, etc., etc., etc. Regardless, I'd love to hear your feedback. If you have tried these pimple patches before, let us know in the comment section below which ones are your favorites. Because like I said, not everything works for everyone. You know, like not everyone is everyone's type. So I'd love to hear your feedback back in the comment section below and I'll make sure to link these in the description box below but I think that's it I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video you know it's always a good day when we get the opportunity to talk about pimples right like you wake up and you're like man I really wish I could watch a pimple video today well I got you guys this is what I'm here for I love you guys so much and you know what to do if you found this video useful entertaining and learned something please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time this coffee break is over bye guys